What's up guys? Been out of it for a few days. Been having some uh, medical procedures and some other things that have kind of kept me down. And uh, headed back over to the Belt Knot Park Garage. See what they've been up to because those boys have been working for the past couple days. And uh, see what we're getting into and what we got coming up. And uh, let's take a look, man. Well, it looks like they got some work done. Got the old motor out of the bug. Got to get ready to stab that sucker in. Getting warmer. All right, Jake, say what's up. What's up? So, give us a rundown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, pretty straightforward. Motor was here. Motor's now here. There's no clutch, no flywheel, no cage. That was beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, so about three hours time, we got the motor ripped out, we got the end cage here, pulled off, uh, radiator was here, yank in a pool, and uh, simple stuff here, get the clutch off once it was already out, along with uh, removing the radiator to gain access to the uh, wiring harness to get that passed. Very nice. Alright, so this is our current project. What we got here is a motor swap and a nice badass sand rail. Uh, we removed the back half to gain access and to be able to remove the engine. We, uh, yeah, good job, Jake. You're doing great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to remember it in a good way. You got the memory of an elephant. You know? All right. I'm a Fill us in, bro. Guy. Try it. <laughs> All right. Let me reel this up. Okay, I'm gonna toss you the sawzall blade because apparently that's what we're using you for hey, now. I'm the <laughs> Alright, so we got our 60s bull wagon in here, chilling. We got the back off back half off last night in order to gain access to being able to pull the motor because the way the skid plate and all that, the tubing lines up, it wouldn't allow us to pull the motor just that way. So it's easier. They have these nice quick disconnects for the cage. These are pretty strong they go together with allens if you look right here they're actually molded so that they mate right up to each other and it has one on all four corners so an allen goes through the bottom um, through the top and one through the bottom really strong they use it in roll cages to hold it all together so no big deal it's made of it they're made they're designed to get quick quick access to things so we remove that first after getting the motor unbolted uh, remove that first was able to get the motor apart from the tranny. Once we got the motor out, we realized that the clutch was completely uh, roasted to the point where, I mean, it would hold, it would do good for a little bit, but it was coming apart. So we have we had to order another clutch and flywheel. Uh, flywheel had heat spots all over it. It just wasn't gonna be a good setup. So we're gonna get something that's actually stronger, that's gonna hold up to the new motor a lot better, be a lot more reliable. The other thing we found was that the starter um, started chipping away little by little. And just to be preventative with future issues of him being out in the desert and stuff like that, we're going to go ahead and replace the flywheel and the starter at the same time, because why not? Uh, at that same time, we had the motor out. We already have the cage off. We're doing a Holly Terminator kit like we talked about in some of our other videos when we had the breakdown of what we were going to do to this thing. Uh, the Phytec... Harness is out, um, and it's not that it's the Phytech, you know, that we we're having issues with that. It's just that the um, it's been in and out so many times that it's been chopped up, actually. So to avoid any further issues, we're just going to get rid of it, scrap it. Uh, we got the CBR radiator out because we're going to go ahead and make a bracket for the heat exchanger for the Pro Charger. Uh, CBR radiator, radiator actually sits in here, has a couple fans. We might up the type of fans it has and try to get some more CFM out of the new ones uh, because now we're running a heat exchanger for the Pro Charger. So with that said, that's a quick little breakdown. Not trying to get too complicated, but trying to give enough information, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. We try not hey. to be. <laughs> so what's this project? All right, so, well, we're wearing the same shirts as what we just you know, <laughs> talked about over there, but... Uh, Where's the flashlight? At the same time... Psych, I got the flashlight. <laughs> oh, shit. Dang. He got us. Let me light it up. Uh, well, 
we got a 2005 Silverado, 4 by 4 Silverado here. It's a beaut. With an LM7 inside of it. Uh, this is actually, um, we bought this off at auction, off of Copart, you know. Thank you, Copart, again. But uh, Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to go ahead and yank this motor out because that's all we really care about. We're going to store the cab in the back for future build. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Maybe just a center mount trophy truck. Maybe you guys tell us what you want us to build it in. That's right. I mean, we could always go crawler. We could always do something stupid. I don't really care. The frame's completely smashed, so we're going to completely frame, you know, frame uh, forward on this shit when we do it. I mean, it'd be a tube chassis type shit that we'd have to build, so it's not a big deal. But this LM7 with the 4x4 is going to go into a blazer. We're also going to run the Holly Terminator kit um standalone system all that good stuff we're gonna run solid axles on the blazer you know it's gonna be nothing it's pretty mild setup we're gonna go through refresh this whole motor might refresh the tranny and stuff like that you know just kind of make it reliable is what we're going for so what you're saying is you don't think that's gonna hold up to uh what we want to build uh well not the way we would drive it could end up like that afterwards <laughs> well not if we build our own we'll be good <laughs> so all right well we're gonna cut some stuff on this thing and uh that's it that's right so we're gonna cut this uh rear cross member here this yep that way the uh tail shaft for that transfer case could come down and somebody lowered our jack so we might want to jack that back up i already talked to i already talked to garrett about that that thing's bleeding off on its own? Yep. Nice. Hold up for a, a good 30 seconds. I think, I think uh, maybe Garrett needs to sponsor the channel, man. He will. You know? Unknowingly, he already does. <laughs> yeah. Loner tools. <laughs> loner? Yeah, a bunch of loner tools. I have a lot of loner tools around here right now. He's like, God damn it, Jonathan. <laughs> Fucking cracks me up every time he yells at me. I'm like, let me just try it. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's my question. You I think that's how Justin got this, him too. You know? Isn't this under load? It definitely is, but it's broken. Yep. So we can, um, let's actually undo these torsion keys. Because <sighs> if we fucking cut. It's going to go ding. You're going to end up eating it in the face. That's what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Can we think ahead of this That's what I said. Bit? Jake's cutting. <laughs> ah, smart. He just fucking comes up with that MRI shit out of nowhere every time. You like it, huh? All right. What is that? Uh, 17? Yeah. We could start there. I think it's pretty close. Yep. Uh, we lied. It's 18. That bugs me less. That might not be an 18. It uh, doesn't feel like it's 18. smaller. <laughs> What the fuck he had me? I know. He had me at 16. I know, it was on the wrong side. I probably like to think it's a 19 to be realistically with you. Oh no, it's an 18, we're good. Where's the gun? It's on the tape. Here's a ratchet. It's fucking good. No ratchet. You put the hose away? <laughs> yeah, I didn't fucking, that, I mean technically we were supposed to be done with it. We are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, yeah. Jake, you want to give us a breakdown on why you just took that out? Yeah, I, I'd like not to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. And apparently, nobody else has my best interest in mind. Uh, yeah, torsion bars are under load for those that don't understand, and they're twisted, and pressure is applied. <laughs> Hold up. Yep. Why is it coming? Whole thing's coming down already. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's because there's nothing supporting you know the trends either. It, it won't even come down that low because it'll. Uh, it's gonna bottom out. It's gonna bottom out on the forward. So yeah, go ahead and take it off. All right. Here's the part where I. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you, you can learn to making me wonder if it's going to be too much under load. I kind of feel like it will. 
should always just unbolt them. They actually have bolts right here on the ends. Mm -hmm. And we could pound it out that way. Or should we just cut it? I almost feel like just cutting it, dude. I not think gonna, if it's if, not going to go that far. If you give it a quick cut right there, if this thing's going right to flex here. at all, That's you're going to see it. That's true. Okay. I'll go with that. Just way. do it in a way where you're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the plan. Don't attempt this at home. <laughs> See it flex at all? It, uh, it, it, it definitely a, opened up. It definitely, yeah, it moved a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna put this jack on the center, okay. so it'll still hold the transfer case. Yeah. But it'll also hold this side from shooting down or whatever, which will also hold that side. You know. So what's gonna happen is you, while you're cutting it, if it's gonna flex that hard, it's gonna put the pressure on the blade. Well, yeah, it did open up like a quarter inch. It huh? did. Yep. So, yeah, my thought is I'm going to get on the other side because this side's going to try to exactly. fucking spring. Or it so could hold that side well, if it makes you feel better. My biggest thing is pinching that blade and snapping that blade and coming at you, bro. Uh, yeah, that's bad too. Got a second jack. We could just put it here yeah. and we could cut and we don't have to <laughs> We got old faithful over there. <laughs> <laughs> or we could, we could put a jack stand. Uh, uh, no. It sounds like it's going to kick jack a jack stand from... away. Yeah. Uh, last night you threw a ranger at, at my head a little bit, so I'm not down. <laughs> All right, guys. Ready? Nate said, "Don't try this at home, but don't try this at work either." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't try. This. Don't do this. <laughs> All right. Is everybody excited? Yeah. It's a pretty good experiment. Okay. Remember, you gotta keep pressure on that thing, right? Yeah. I'm pulling down on it. Okay. Ready? Cool. <laughs> good. Yep. You good? Almost. Might have to get it to the top. Actually, it might be enough, dude, if we let I it down. I think it's enough. All right, you let your end down. All right, cool. Now. <laughs> that way I'll hold this thing from springing back. <laughs> I don't like it. That's on you. Like the fucking London Bridge, bro, or whatever, when they open. You want to get the tranny jack and I'm put it under the transfer? Off. You think we'll be alright? Keep going? I think we'll be alright, actually. There's no way that... Yeah, I'm down. It's not going to snap on its own. Alright. I mean, when it does give away, it's going to give away really good. Yeah, it's going to be... <laughs> all right, it's going to be lift, angry let's about it. Let's lift them back up, but cut it from the top. How did I get volunteer for this side? Uh, we uh, took the exhaust uh, manifold out. Yeah, that's true. I was going to say you didn't talk in the video, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, payback. <laughs> You're the guy who does stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, sure. come down. I don't blame you because you're like, you know, trying to fucking stay alive too. <laughs> so. Well, I think it's cool that we're getting Snap-on product actually failing on camera. Damn, you so, went there with it. You know. Maybe yeah. they'll send us a better product. Maybe they to see test that out? this life-threatening situation that their jack is supposed to actually save our lives. <laughs> is maybe it? Harbor Freight will start sending us shit. Dude, I'll, you know. All right, that's it. Uh, it's still got more. Oh shit! And here she comes. I'm pretty excited right now. It is pretty cool. Oh fuck! You all the way down? Yeah, now I am. All right, well. Uh, where's that pry bar? You want to try to pry on that thing? Yeah. There we go. Is it completely separated? Yeah. Yeah, Keep except going. for that one little hair. Give it a good whack. There we go. Let it rip, bro. So, uh, well, I don't know if we're going to clear the dish. Oh, I hope so. 
If not, that's why I got him in the sawzalls. We'll just cut the diff in half, bro. Hey, is that an 11 and a half inch rear end? Because I know somebody needs one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's, too, it's too soon. Is it? You know when people say too soon? This yeah. is too soon. Too soon? <laughs> better than a tranny, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit, I'll pull. And we'll see if we can clear. Just gotta let it force itself out. Yeah, you're pushing up on the firewall at this point, dude. Yeah, that's cool. As long as it doesn't break water. We'll just take the cab out with it, you know? That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's a big ass fucking oil pan. <laughs> When did they get so much bigger? Yeah, you're already scraping on the diff too. Yeah, straight up. It's like gouging it. Yep. That's cool. Good thing you're building the motor. Well, no, I'm trying to pull the transfer case down. To I mean the oil, the, pan. Uh, oil pan. Well, that's why I'm trying to pull the transfer case down. Yeah, we just need three inches to clear the, the oil pan, bro. <sighs> if you can swing the tail shaft to the driver's side, uh, yeah. that'll point the oil pan in the right Let's direction. There it goes. Watch your face. Yeah. Why can't you see my face? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need those bolts. I care about the rest of it. You know? <laughs> my face is the most yeah. yeah. Just like, I yeah. don't know what my daddy looks like because oh, I never shit. got to see his real face. <laughs> <laughs> Might come down uh, Might clear, Is that transfer case on the ground? Uh, yeah. So be. we might want to jack oh, up the front end a little bit. It's up by one inch off the ground. It's not touching. Is that body all right? I thought you said he took these manifolds off. I thought he did. I fucking left one bolt. Hold on. Don't hold on, dude. Don't fucking lie. Give me a. Is that a fucking pen? When all the snap on tools failed, Milwaukee, we break out to snap. Damn it. Keep going. Oh, these have plugs. <laughs> it's funner to unplug. I was gonna actually hold it for you, but then I thought about that for a second. That's smart. The the tranny the the not to take it to the grill. The jack is over here, but alright. <laughs> show his muscles right now. Oh, I like how heavy it is. <laughs> uh, is the transfer case even gonna clear through the fucking? We're gonna find out. Yeah, that's I the don't point. Think it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna. It's going to. Okay. You fucking off. send it. Of Ready? all the things that we could have done, we could have easily just fucking dropped it. Shut that up and push. <laughs> Am I hitting? Nope, not yet. All right. Want me to come up? Not, not yet. yet. No. Not yet. Shit. My bad. <laughs> there was a Good big thing I there. just got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's on Jax. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You might to want to show that because somebody's gonna believe you. <laughs> <laughs> that almost killed my buddy. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Hold up. Hold up. Now push to you. It's already almost clear. Hold on. Yep. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is gonna fling and hit you in the face. I mean that thing that needs to be cut. <laughs> it's hard when you. I'm gonna have to swing to the to the left. Yeah. So, watch uh, let me move the air hose over there. Hold on, hold on. Come up more. Yeah, you're gonna have to move it. Hey, you're out. Oh no. Hey, which way 
you go. Well, I'm trying to go this way. I can't do much steering. You're supposed to be steering, bro. I can't. There's no way. I'm holding. <laughs> Jake's supposed to be steering. Yeah. <laughs> unless, you, unless you were talking to Jake. Here Jake ready. might be uh end up in like Riverside or something. In record time. Uh, so because uh she's always excited about these things. You know how I have my niece and my nephew, right? Okay, uh what size of line or just in the line, you don't care. Take the line. So, we're finishing the bracket for the fuel cell. So we made, can't really see it. Where's the flashlight? Aha, there you go. Oh, it's in his pocket. Thought it was in mine. It's a phone. <laughs> that wasn't a flashlight. <laughs> oh, dude, that order bad. Making this little bracket going down the center here. You To hold up the back of the fuel cell. Jake has been playing with tubes. Let's see what you got, bro. <laughs> Did you say the wrong it could be the right angle if you're, uh, you know. It's definitely the wrong angle. Put it up here. Let's find I out. Just, I, can, I can weld any gap, but I'd rather not. <laughs> just on yeah. Yes. No gap too big. Nice. It was just a starter angle, you know. What was that? Ninety. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> You want to know a cheater way? Sure, I'm down. Line your, line your, put your tube back up there. Yep. But don't put that on the plate. Yeah, so put it here. Yep. But my problem with that here is that this angle has to be cut at an angle this way to match the angle of the tube. So I didn't want to take so much off that I lose this angle and not enough pipe here. Yeah, I would run it tight down here. Yeah. That way you can play with that angle once. Uh... I guess this is gonna double. Well, what you got going on? Well, believe it or not, we're actually doing a little bit of R&D on this front suspension. Even that we didn't build it. It is a legit... I hope this is a one-off, like this was never made again, because this is fadangled so bad that I, I don't know. We've done a lot to make this work, and I think by the amount of effort we've put into it, we could have just made a new suspension and called it a day. But it looks like they used, you know, maybe home-built upper and lower control arm, and it looks like they used a lift spindle instead of an actual fabricated spindle. I don't know if they tried to get the geometry right or whatnot, but we're working with what we got um, to get it a little bit closer. We actually ended up, and a little bit better compared to what it had, we ended up welding a uniball up to the cast spindle because it used to have a weird heim with the slot and one 3 8 bolt that would hold it all together. So you were pretty much dependent on one little bolt to hold your heim in. And that's kind of scary. So we went ahead and heated these spindles up pretty hot because they're cast. And then we threw some fat beads on it. I threw a couple root passes everywhere and then threw a couple cap passes and then ended it with the weave um, with the TIG welder. That way I can just make sure I got good penetration. After that, we threw it in the press, um, got the, the brand new uniballs in there on the top. Um, 
we're kind of just working with what we got for now. He's going to need lower uniballs over here, which is what we're working with. We're trying to see where the best geometry is for this uh, suspension. So we cycled it a couple times. The We were hoping to go with the upper route, which is the spindle over the upper, uh, the lower control arm, I'm sorry. But it looks like we're actually going to go with the spindle back under the lower control arm, which is okay. Um, but it's going to help with the ride height clearance. We're going to be able to keep the, the front of the truck a little bit higher by going with the spindle under the lower control arm. And we're going to be able to keep good shock motion and all that crap. So we got a little bit going on. I've been messing with this now for a few days. We've been trialing and erroring. So hopefully this is the last one. We're going to move this back under. We're actually, there's so much play in this upper control arm tab that was made or whatever because they didn't put the right size bolt um, that I'm actually going to have to weld washers to these tabs in order to just, you know, kind of take care of it a little bit more. Just make it that much better because you don't like having a lot of slopping bolts. It just gives room for movement that you don't want, so... So I was being too hopeful. Yeah. So I actually don't even think I'll be able to get the bottom. Oh, maybe. Let's see if Jake's got a test fit. No, it's terrible. Is it? Yeah. How bad? Yeah. <laughs> well, the blade's not going uh, where it wants to go. Well, if you uh, line, line that thing up on the center hole, like if you were actually going to mount it. Oh, yeah. It still needs more of an angle. Huh? Mm -hmm. That'll work. Yeah, probably on the back side of that. So here. That way you got room to weld around it, you know? Okay. Alright. All right. So then move the measurement mark. Say there. The new main character. Yeah. The third stooge. Ah, oh, yes. You can be the first stooge. if it makes you happy. <laughs> so my Larry Moe or Curly. Uh, your my mustache, curly, I say curly. You know, ah, shit. Like dude, I my hair's curly know. too. I'm bald. Uh, Who's that? Oh, Fucking shit. Larry, right? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking no, dude. <laughs> that means uh, you're, you're Mo, dude. So no, the angle at the bottom of our cut ended up being 26 degrees, give or take. Not that you could see any of it, but it looks good from where I'm at. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance between here and our angle here. And which you can see here, we're maybe at like another 40 degree angle, give or take, maybe even less, actually, probably like a 30, 35 degree angle. So once we get our total length from there to here, we can cut our pipe at the proper angle from here to here, because that angle should be from this pipe a 90 degree there, then we'll cross our angle according to where this pipe is going at that direction, and that should be, you know, like I said before, 34 degree angle coming back across. So we'll have a double angle cut on that pipe there. All right, so other memory card died. We got a little bit of light inside the shop, nothing outside. So you're now with Jake and Jake. Jake's gonna talk to you. So the total length of our rise is 13 and a half inches across from the center of the tank to our support tube. Our rise is six and a half inches. 
which from that point will give our length It'll give us our downward angle across. Oh shit, I like that. Once we can get, and I don't know if you can see in the light here, our downward angle this direction, so long as our length from here to the length of our longest edge is correct, we'll then get our measurement across the pipe, which should be going roughly in about this direction. And push comes to shove, angled, and we'll be toasted. There you go. All right, guys. So back where we left off, talking about the front suspension and how we were going to mess with it. As you can see, we went ahead and welded some washers onto here, slotted the upper control arm tab to make our new uniball setup work, kind of help him get a little bit more positive caster out of this. We went ahead and adjusted his upper control arm as best we could Camber. for for now. Did I say caster? Yep. Well, I met Camber dudes. My bad. It's almost two o'clock, I'm sure. I don't know, what time is it right now? I think it's like 2.30. Fuck. It's 2.30. So, as you can see, we did not TIG weld this. Uh, actually, we got the, the rail inside right now, so we went ahead and MIGged it. I didn't really clean too well up top. There was some paint, so you're gonna have to I'll apologize for that you're gonna have to accept it so it is what it is you know welding at 2 in the morning isn't the best but this is kind of uh, we're kind of doing favors at this point just trying to get this thing a little bit better than what it was uh, so we went ahead and cycled it we're pretty much as good as it gets for now um, but like I said stay tuned we'll end up we'll end up doing a lot better sooner so hopefully we'll get some footage of this thing romping around soon and I'm pretty confident on what we got going on with it. Oh, that's looking pretty, bro. Oh, I like it. And he's doing this in the dark. And he used stuff that we don't use. Like to measure? No, his brain. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I was right. <laughs> to measure. <laughs> Oh shit. So you got a good template there, dude? Yeah, it's just about right. It just gotta makes me a happy. Little bit of length off. It just makes me happy that I'll never have to measure anything again. Yeah. Cause I'll just make sure Jake's over here. See, we call we call those dudes fitters. Oh shit. Fitters. Welders and fitters. Well, I like that Jake's the only one that's got the corona mask on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>